Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a blueprint, an actor blueprint, and give it a name. I like to put um, BP at the end of all my blueprints. Uh, click on it, and we're going to add uh, two static meshes. And um, go ahead and uh, name uh, your static meshes. I'm just going to keep it simple for now because I'm showing you basically what's going on. We're going to add some, um, we're not going to bot. No, we're not. We're not gonna add a box closure right now because right now I'm just teaching you how to actually attach. I'm not gonna teach you how to activate the attachment, but just how to attach it. Um, let's go ahead and add a static mesh. Um, So I added uh, two static meshes that I actually added in myself, but you can use a small cube um, just to stay generic if you would like. Actually, I'll just change it to the small cube, uh, keep it simple. Uh, it's just the basic default cube that's included in the uh, package um, when you open up a real, uh, a new project in Unreal Engine. And um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to event graph. I'm going to create a custom event. What, how I got to here is I hit uh, right click on my mouse. I type in custom events and I see add custom event down here. I'm going to give it a name, attach component to component events. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to hit rename, and I'm just going to copy this. And then uh, right click, and I'm going to paste that in there. That way the event pulls up right here. So I'm going to take that event over here. And I'm going to attach it to event begin play, because I want it to execute as soon as I hit play to see if it works, to test it. Okay, so this is the event and now we're going to put our instructions behind this event. So I need an attach component to component node. Um, this doesn't just come up right away. You're going to have to uncheck it and look for it. Uh, but this is it right here under uh, transformation. And I'm going to uh, get the actor that I want to attach. Sorry, this is going to be the parent. I'm going to get uh, static 2 is the one I want to attach to static 1. So this is going to be the target and this is going to be the parent. I'm going to do snap to target on the location rule and the rotation rule. Then I'm going to do a keep world on the scale just so it doesn't change the scale of the object. And then um, let's go ahead and test to see if it's working. Go ahead and save and compile. And we're going to put our blueprint into the scene itself so we can test it. Uh, make sure your player star is in front um, so that you can see what's going on when you hit play. Let's go ahead and hit play. And uh, if we look at our scene and go to our blueprints, we can see that Static Mesh 2 did attach to Static Mesh 1. Now let's say, uh, that means it works. Let's say we want to detach it. Um, you're going to create another custom event. And remember how I got here is I right click on my mouse. I hit in custom, I add custom events, I name it. A 
excuse my spelling. Oops. All right, and then it's um, detach component. from and then you're just going to put in the target that you're wanting to detach and we want to uh, keep worlds keep worlds worlds uh, rename it so that you can find it in the list of possible actions and um, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to show you that it works by like grabbing a delay maybe and let's put a delay on it for three seconds and then after three seconds it's going to um, detach I also want to put it in front of the attach that way you can actually see it happening instead of just happening immediately at when it begins we actually have a delay on it so that you could actually see it happening um, attach an actor to an actor node um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to um, attach actor to actor create a custom events name it grab it um, I do it by right-clicking renaming copying uh, right-clicking to pull up the possible action list pasting that in there and it will bring it up so click on that I'm just gonna go ahead and put this behind the uh, begin play events so that it executes as soon as it turns on so I could test it. I need um, the thing that I'm attaching which is the self. This actor is the self. It's automatically in there. I don't have to change anything but I do need the parent actor which is going to be the object to uh, blueprint. The other blueprint that I'm pulling in. Um, I created a variable. Uh, I'll just show you how that's done. You go to variable. You go to um, actor uh, two and change it to a um, an actor variable. And then you're going to um, reference that actor um, right here. On begin play, we'll do a um, a get actor of class. We'll grab the uh, the object to blueprint the object that, that I want to attach to, and um, we're gonna set it by you're gonna bring it up here and you're gonna go set, and we're gonna go ahead and um, attach those. Then you're gonna go to cast to. Uh, object two and connect those and then over here we're gonna bring that actor two over here we're gonna get it and we're gonna attach it to the parent we're gonna change this to snap to target and keep this world and then let's um, test it Actually, we forgot to bring in the actors. So, we're going to go ahead and bring in our two actors that we're attaching. That didn't work. 
Alright, let's go back and see why. Oh, because I didn't attach this. See? It works. If we want to detach... Create another custom event. We're going to rename it, but not really. We're just going to copy it. Pull up all possible actions by right-clicking on the mouse. Paste that in there. Pull up the event. Uh, on begin play, we're going we're gonna to create a delay so we can test it. That way it doesn't execute right away. We can watch it happening at the pace we want it to. Um, after three seconds of it executing, it will detach. It will watch it detach. And then we want it to reattach. So let's do another delay. I'm just copying it. And I'm going to watch it reattach so we could see it working. Alright, so let's push play. See, one is attached to two. Never detach like it's supposed to. That's because it's detaching itself and it looks like it's two that's attaching so let's change that so two is becoming the parent actor let's change that to two's the one we're attaching and one look I haven't even finished this that's why it's not working Let's just finish it out because that's why it wasn't working. So we're gonna go to the actor and we're gonna get we're gonna grab detach actor. Detach from actor. And um, we're just gonna detach self. Let's go ahead and change this to world and then let's test. See attached. Actually, we need to watch it on here. Let's try again. All right, attached. And then detached. And then attached again. So it works. And that's how you attach an actor to actor.